Hello and welcome back guys to my channel uh, World on Easy to Weld. Uh, normally, uh, actually I'm starting this third time because the first time I uh, was talking some <laughs> some funny nonsense. Uh, secondly, secondly, the battery uh, just died. And uh, okay, I need to put it down a little bit. And so this is the final, hopefully third one, third run. So. Uh, Going to finish this uh, rice place today, get the sharp edges off, uh, tap the threads and uh, get them a little bit matte. So I will show you how I do that, do not forget, this is not about how you supposed to do job, this is about how I'm job and it's work for me, uh, so that's good. Uh, I was trying to show you, but battery shut down. Uh, about the stuff to to finish the CNC project, but I was running somewhere with the plate, and I don't know where I put it actually. Oh, it's here. Oh, so this will be mounted to that plate, and the NEMA motor is coming here, but uh, this is NEMA 34. As you see, guys, it's quietly heavy and big, uh, so will fit perfectly. Oops, uh, and this is multi-plate, so we can uh, fit. I think so. Uh, other NEMA motor, I think 23. Have a look on uh, Avid CNC or Avid, but sounds better to me Avid. So have a look on Avid CNC website. Uh, you can just tap. Uh, Avid CNC and you will find them. Uh, there is step file, uh, but uh, if you able or you able to do by yourself or give it to somebody else, if not, then you can buy whole this kit, even separately some parts. Just contact them. I think so. They will be happy to send the worldwide. Uh, for this project, I was using the uh, European uh, bearings uh, and the bolts. The bolts. This is a special story about those bolts. They are uh, really expensive. I think so, or some of the bolts, I think so this one, 35 length, it cost 25 volts, something about 93 euro uh, from February. And the reason why they are so expensive is they are not F9, a standard, yeah? For the normal uh, use, for the normal projects, the people using F9, this time I used, I think so, H8. So it's fitting uh, H8 in H7. So it's really, really, really tight and really smooth. Uh, so for all these applications to get uh, less play, then uh, I use the more expensive, most expensive bolts I ever by my life. So uh, to finish this, I need to get the spacer, uh, some special uh, flat washer or spacer uh, inside. In this side uh, is bearing different dimension uh, diameter as is here. So I'm happy to tell you which kind of the bearings I was using. I use, and I got two versions because first time when we make this, uh, I make mistake. I didn't uh, no. We was looking for the bearing to to do for the right bearing, and then I changed my mind to go for another bearing. We make them, and the the gear was oh bloody hell was actually too big. Uh, sorry, the hole was too big, but I will show you that later on. I'm not lazy to go to get impulse. Okay. Oh, that's the second time. So here is really small bearing. I don't know how it will work for how long it will stay. Uh, on the front, I think so, it's 
even smaller or bigger. I don't remember. Really, really tight. Oh, so on the front is bigger, the bag is smaller. Uh, the other gears uh, are with the bigger holes. So I'm going to get these gears uh, a little bit different way. So on the front, um, the bearing will stay. This one is good. I'm happy with this. I'm not really happy with this small one. It's really, really tiny. It's really small. I don't know how long it will stay. Uh, if other uh, gears will uh, work better, then I will uh, make this hole bigger and I will put uh, different gears. Let's see, maybe it will be good. If not, uh, then I will need to change the bearings. Um, maybe depends on work, maybe every half year, maybe every three months, we will see. So, uh, so I've got uh, plenty pieces to done for all these uh, all these motors. Uh, waiting for the the small one and for the belts. So I will post the video as well about putting this together. Uh, I need uh, that was the reason why I was contacting the Avid uh, guys to if it's possible, if they are happy to share the, the, the tension bolts. And uh, then I need to get here spring and the bracket, the bracket I can extract from the, from a step file, the spring, uh, you need to have a look, uh, need to test that which spring will be good. Uh, a couple more, more things I was uh, asking the guys, uh, they, uh, answered all my emails, part of the emails when I was asking for something, uh, for something they sent me, they told me to su uh, contact the technical support. Uh, I did uh, that, uh, the other guys doesn't answer, but uh, the, 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 when you want to talk about the buying stuff and uh, stuff like that, uh, that is not problem with them to communicate. Uh, let's see. Maybe they will change their mind after uh, after this video, and I will be really happy uh, if they will support me, if they will give me more drawings to get this uh, my uh, fantastic project done. I am really excited to get this done. I cannot wait, uh, but I've got limitation with the time because I am busy with other things. So, uh, like I said, uh, this uh, stuff was uh, from. Uh, Hardware CNC, I will post it everything that was muscle and that controller. More stuff I going to order from them as well. Uh, maybe those guys will support me as well. I don't know. And the step motors and drivers. Uh, and the blocks, uh, burning blocks was from... Uh, is Diamond CNC, Diamond CNC. Yes, his name is Diamond, Kevin Diamond. Uh, so uh, I'll post the link as well, uh, so we can buy the same stuff. It looks amazing. Only the things I'm going to ask them if I can change these connectors because this is doesn't like to me really good. Uh, some plastic with the with the yeah with the glue with the hot glue. Uh, I seen on uh, YouTube plenty of people using this. Uh, they using the this is male. They're using other females connectors, but I'm going to use uh, proper connectors. I like the tip top job. That is making me happy. Uh, then I got good feeling when I'm done something where this looks good. So uh, we're going to finish that job, uh, like I said. So if you're happy to watch, then I'm happy to share how I'm going to finish uh, this job. Actually, I already done two pieces, two spare pieces. Uh, like I said, can be anything happen uh, during the, the learning process. Uh, that's my father is calling me. I will talk to him later on. So, uh, so, let the uh, finish this and and just continue okay so first what i'm going to do 
I'm going to get inner sharp edges. This was as well. That will be M10. So inside for burning blocks. Okay, first one is done. So, so. Then I need to use different one because it's close to close to the wall. Okay, this is done, done, done. So we can do another one. Actually, I can do. I don't know if, if it's this good idea. Looks like yes. I will sweep later on. What I can do on this one. Good. I already make the thread this one. So I'm going to use uh, the potato scrubber in a minute. So 